Hello and welcome to the Carl Lewis Academy YouTube channel. So we'll continue with our study of Windows Server 2025. So I'm just going to start by opening my VMware workstation. So I have my Server 2025 on pause. I'm just going to click on Resume to resume my Server 2025. I'll click on OK and I'll just give it some few seconds and allow my Server to resume. So I'm just going to take off from where I left off in the last video. So I'm just going to click on close the server manager. So this is the desktop of the Windows Server 2025. If you can look in the bottom right, you'll see Windows Server 2025 data center evaluation copy. So it tells us the version of Windows Server that is in store. So one thing I want to do is to just open my file explorer by clicking on the file explorer right down here the yellow folder so i'll click on that on my file explorer window opens i will come to this computer i'll right click on this computer and click on properties so it's going to open the properties of my windows server when the properties of my windows server 2025 opens the first thing I want to do here is just to rename my computer. So I'll click on rename this PC. I'm just going to type, since this is going to be our first domain controller, I'll type DC for domain controller. And then as the first domain controller, I'll just type 01. So I'll go to next. And then it asks me to restart. So I'm going to just restart now so that the changes can take effect. So I'll click on restart now. So it's going to ask for a reason why I'm restarting this computer. So I'm just going to click on continue. So I allow my server to restart. Now that my Windows Server 2025 has restarted, I'm going to come up to this icon which says send control plus alt plus delete to this virtual machine. So I'll click on that. It's going to activate the password screen. I'm going to put in my password. I'll press enter. And then I will log in to my Windows Server 2025. I'm going to close this X. I'm going to maximize the server manager. I'm just going to click on local server, which will allow me to see the properties of this current local server that I have. So as we can see, the computer name has been successfully changed to DC01. So before we can configure Active Directory, I'm going to make sure to go to the network card and assign a static IP address. So that's the first requirement. So I'm going to double click on the network card. I'm going to click on properties, IP version four, click on that and click on properties. And I'm going to click on use the following IP address. So I'm just going to go with 10.10.10. .10 .10 dot one for the subnet mask i'll use 255.0.0.0 so i'm just going to keep it to the default subnet mask again if you don't understand ip address and subnet mask in subsequent videos i will go into more details about ip addresses and subnet mask so for our preferred dns i'm just going to use several ip address because this is going to be our first dns server so i'm going to have the same IP address repeated as the preferred DNS server. So I'll click on OK. I'll click on Close. I'll click on Close. And then I'll close this. And then when I come back to the server manager, just going to hit the refresh to refresh the server manager. And then now, as you can see on Ethernet 0, which is our first network card in the server, we see that the static IP address 10.10.10.1 has been configured. So once this is done, this brings an end to this video, which is just showing us how to rename this computer and how to set up a static IP address. In the next video, we will configure Active Directory. So I will see you in the next video. So if you love this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, or any suggestion, make sure to leave those in the comment section down below and make sure to share this video with someone who you think will find this video useful. But without further ado, I will end this video and I will see you in the next video.
Bye.